Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is our fifth video as part of our series of video of our playlist, Tally's latest release 6.0. So in this video, we will now start understanding how you can reconcile your bank book with the bank statement after importing the bank statement into Tally. In the last video, we saw how to import the bank statement. So in this video, we will cover the simplest reconciliation where you can set up in such a way so that Tally will automatically conduct the reconciliation. You don't have to mark those transactions and say reconcile. So these kind of uh, various permutation combination is what we will see in this video. Let us go to Tally and explore the simple, easiest reconciliation process. In our previous two videos, we learned how to import bank statement and also understood configuration related to bank ledger for reconciliation. Now let us quickly revisit to our bank ledger and check the configuration. Let us click on set alter bank configuration. Yes. And reconciliation beginning date. Let me set it as November 1st, 2024. I am going to now import the bank statement for the month of November and December. Actually, this company's demo that you are viewing is my actual live data of my company. The next one set alter bank reconciliation configuration let us set to yes and the first section we shall revisit when we come to voucher creation from bank statement the second section identify exact matches for reconciliation we had set it as while importing statement automatically reconcile exact matches found we had left it as no. So by setting this as no, Tally will display all the transactions of exact match, but it will not auto reconcile. We have to mark the transaction and set the reconciliation. If we set this to yes, then all the exact matches will be auto reconciled. So we will demonstrate both the scenarios here. So leave this as no. Enter again e-payment as I mentioned, we shall cover it in a separate video. So let us save this configuration. Control A again, save it. Control A. Before we import the bank statement, another important configuration you should enable and capture banking details in the bank subscreen. Let me show you the additional information to be captured, which will allow for identifying exact match for reconciliation and also helps in automatically reconcile exact matches form. Notice here, we are in the payment voucher. Now in the voucher of payment or receipt, whenever you are debiting or crediting the bank ledger, when you come to the amount column and when you press enter, Tally is currently moving to the narration field. The banking subscreen is not opening. So for this, you have to press F12 configure and on the right side under the bank detail, use default bank allocation. We have to set it as no. For auto bank reconciliation features, make sure that you are setting this as no. Save this control A. Now when I come to the amount column of the bank ledger. And when I enter, you will see the banking subscreen opens. So here is the transaction type. You can decide what is the transaction type. We are getting the list of transaction type. And when you click here on show more, we are going to get the list of all different transaction types. So here select the appropriate transaction type for your transaction. So in my case, let me say I want to select others enter and the instrument number is the UTR number that you will get once you make the payment capture that information here. The amount and the instrument number is critical. Once these two informations are captured here and if it is matching with the bank statement, Tally will automatically identify the exact match. So this is important. So for this payment transaction, I have captured the 
transaction type and obviously the amount. Accept this and save this. So this is important before you start importing your bank statement. Now let me import the bank statement. Import bank statement. Select the bank. The default folder is already pre-selected since I have selected earlier. File type supported and I am going to select for ICICI bank month of November and December. So preview yes. Accept. It is now importing the bank statement. So you are now viewing the bank statement in tally. We have still not imported this information into our books of accounts. So to import again, click on import here. Now, if you notice, there are total 19 entries, which has been imported from the bank statement. And out of 19 transactions, four transactions are having exact matches. Now to perform the reconciliation, all you have to do is click here on bank reconciliation summary under the unreconciled transaction, come to the current period and press enter. Now, as earlier, if you want to perform manual reconciliation, then click on the button manual recon on the right side button bar. When you click here, it will take you to your normal bank reconciliation interface, which we were performing prior to this release. And you will notice that it is only showing you the book transaction instrument date. And now looking at the bank statement, you will enter the bank date manually. This is the manual bank reconciliation. If you want, you can still continue with the manual bank reconciliation. I'll escape. We will now see three sections. Section one, exact match. How Tally is identified the exact match. Basically the amount and instrument number is matching. So whatever is the instrument number that we have captured in our books of account and the instrument number that is being produced in the bank statement is matching and the amount is matching. So that's how these four transactions have automatically matched and it is not auto reconciled because if you recall, we have set the auto reconciliation to no for this bank ledger. The next is available only in the book. 10 transactions are available in the book. Available only in the bank. There are 15 transactions. So we saw total 19 transaction got imported. 15 are not exact match. Out of 19, four were exact match. So that's how we see this three sections here. I would like to remind all of you again. Any transaction or the name that you are seeing in black are the transactions as per book and the transactions that you are seeing in blue are the transactions that have been imported from the bank statement. These four transactions are already matching. So we have to now reconcile. It becomes much easy to reconcile this. How do we reconcile? Select the book transaction, the bank transaction. You can select one by one and click on reconcile here or we can select all four transactions and reconcile all four at one go. So I'm going to select the second one. Next, next, next. Now we say reconcile and it is already reconciled and you will now notice that the four transactions which had exact match has got reconciled. Now if you want to view the reconciled transaction, it is very simple. All you have to do is click on go to and type banking activities, select banking activities. And since we have imported only for ICICI bank, it is now giving you the statistics. Select the bank and enter. And now to view all reconciled transactions, you see here on the right side button bar, you have this button view reconciled or you can press F5, click here and now tally is giving you month wise number of vouchers being reconciled. So the four transactions that we saw, three transactions were pertaining to the month of November and one transaction was for the month of December. Select the month, enter and you will see this reconciled transactions, three numbers for the month of November. Now let us take the second use case. That is, let us go to the bank ledger. 
and set automatically reconciled exact matches found and we will re-import the bank statement and we will observe that the four transaction which was exact match will get auto reconciled. Now to re-import the bank statement in my earlier video I had shown how to reset banking data and how you can re-import the same statement once again. The link is provided in the description. You can check on the same. Let us set this option automatically reconcile exact matches found. Let us now set it to yes. Now I'm importing the same statement import bank statement select the bank supported for the month of November December show preview accept bank statement I'm going to import here again it says total transaction imported is 19 and reconciled is 4. Last time we saw exact match found 4. This time the exact matches have been reconciled because we have set it as yes. When you come here to bank reconciliation summary and under unreconciled transaction for the current period when you enter you will see that earlier 4 transactions of exact match has got reconciled automatically. Let us quickly see the reconciled 4 transaction. Click here, go to type banking activities, select banking activities, select the bank, click on view reconciled. Again, we can see here three transactions reconciled for November and one transaction reconciled for December. Select the month of November and we see that automatically tally is reconciled these transactions. In the next video, we shall explore other techniques to reconcile book with bank statement where we saw only available in the book and only available in the bank. How are we now going to reconcile those transactions? I hope this video would have given you a clarity of how by setting in the bank ledger not to automatically reconcile the exact match found. And also we saw another use case where once you set up that automatically reconcile exact match found when you make it as yes how in the background while importing the bank statement tally automatically reconciles and we also saw that how to go and view your reconciled transaction of the exact match now this is the simplest way of reconciliation now we saw in the report there are other way of reconciling which is not automatically matching in the next video we will see how are we going to handle those exceptions and conduct the bank reconciliation. Thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.